Matt Provins here for the Highlander Sports Network, and we're talking baseball, and fortunate right now to have with us senior catcher Luke Longo. Luke, i, I got to get started with this. The last six games, hitting 400, three home runs, eight RBIs. Is it the weather warming up and Luke warms up, or what is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we, all the guys, honestly, we just got off to a, to a pretty hot start. I mean, we were playing some really good baseball, and um, the coaches, uh, Coach Franzoni and Coach Greeley especially, have been working with the hitters a lot. And um, they've just been giving us some great information. So I've just been kind of taking what they've had to say and, and rolling with it, and it's been working out. Uh, it's good to hear because this is kind of the time of year now. We're in the heart of conference play. But, you know, this is also a team in the Highlanders, and you've been part of a team that obviously went to the NCAAs, you know, got to the, the finals last year in the America East. How much has that experience that you guys have been able to take from those last two years parlay maybe now that we get into bigger games? Yeah, so I think the experience is huge. Um, guys who graduated a couple of years before us, back when I was like a freshman or a sophomore, they have uh, passed down a lot of knowledge to the now older guys. So they've done a great job, and uh, the older guys have kind of just taken it in and stepped up to the role, and uh, we, now we're just doing our best to pass it down to the younger guys that we have. Well, I got to ask you because one of your teammates is now an assistant coach in Paul Franzoni. You know, he had time behind home plate as well, just like you. And, and I know you're, you know, catching up to him closely in the all-time home run career list, but how helpful is he on a serious note to what you've been able to accomplish as you've improved throughout your career? Yeah, Paul's been great. Um, even when we were both playing together, he was always somebody that I thought I could go to. Uh, he was a big role model of mine. And now that he's on the coaching staff, I mean, we have a special relationship with one another. So I feel like I'm able to, to go to him with just about any issue or problem that I have. And uh, he's been great for it. Yeah, that's great to hear because you need, yeah, I think baseball more so than anything, the grind of all that you guys have to do with the schedule. Uh, and then you don't get enough credit, I don't think, for what you do behind home. I don't think any catcher necessarily <laughs> does. But, you know, we talk about some of the success of the pitching staff. And, uh, you know, you've been a big part of that. Um, catching every single inning that Fisher has pitched here for NJIT. What's that relationship with, like, with Ryan, and, and how has it been to see him do and accomplish the things that he's been able to accomplish? Yeah, so as far as it goes with Ryan, I could not be more proud of him. Um, he's come such a long way from when I used to catch him back in like middle school to where he is now. I mean, it, it's crazy to see the, the leaps and bounds that he's made over the years, and he's just one of those guys where he's never satisfied with his performance, and he just always wants to keep getting better. So as this year's progressed, um, I know he didn't really get off to the start that he would have liked to, but as every week goes on and he gets more and more appearances, he just brings his best to the table, and he's steadily improving. So it's, it's great to play alongside him. This is why catchers make the best coaches and managers, right? Because they got to deal with things like this, <laughs> and real guys like Ryan Fisher in to become, you know, continue to be the players that they are. And I know that's part of what your role, uh, your role probably also is to get ready for this big series against Binghamton, knowing now, as I talked about earlier, the stakes are getting bigger, deeper into the America East season. What's your feeling and your sense of what this team is able to accomplish and how they're going to get there, knowing that now it's, it's time to play the best baseball? Yeah, so... Honestly, I feel like this team can accomplish just about anything. Uh, we have set a goal at the beginning of the season to not only make another run through the America East Tournament, but also make a run to an NCAA Regional. So seeing the way that the guys have progressed from Game 1 to where we're at now, I feel like we're on an upward trajectory, and uh, it's, it's been great to, to see the improvement that everybody else has made. We know that we have a big series ahead of us, and it's going to be a good one for sure. And I'm sure that, like I said earlier, the weather warming up doesn't pain you at all, does it now? No, no absolutely not. <laughs> you know, some of those colder days in February, boy, I tell you, you guys go through a lot. But it's been fun to watch, and I, you, know, you can see this team has been successful, and I want to see that continue as we head down the stretch here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that is catcher Luke Longo again right now, having a great season, leading the team with 10 home runs. And uh, look for more this weekend against Binghamton. I'm Matt Province, and thanks for watching this production of the NJIT Highlanders Network.